Well, you might have a broken disk drive lying around. Don't throw it away because you can still harvest magnets from it. So I'm going to show you how to take the magnet out of a disk drive. Um, it sort of requires special equipment. You need a T9 or sometimes a T8 Torx bit. It's not a usual size, but you can find it at Harbor Freight or a hardware store, flea market sometimes. And then take off six screws. And usually when I take off screws, I need something to put them in, so I just got a yogurt lid here. I'm just going to throw away the rest of this so it, it doesn't really matter. But we'll try to put it in the recycler. Alright, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six screws. The lid still won't come off. See, it's still stuck because there's one more. Usually it's under a label of some kind that says, you know, void warranty if removed and well, I'm going to throw it away anyway, so I'm going to void the warranty and just remove that whatever labels are on here. And underneath, there's usually a screw. I'll take this one off. And then hopefully the lid will come off. And that's what a disk drive looks like inside. This one has, well, I'll show it to you like this. This one has three platters. It's kind of old. I think it's like a, a one terabyte or something. Whatever. Um, and this is the magnet that you can harvest over here. So, actually, with this Mac store, what I can do, I believe, is I can just get a screwdriver. I think this one just, yeah. It's not actually held in there by anything. It's just held in by magnetic force. So I can take that off and I got one magnet here. The bottom magnet is a little more tricky. So for that, I'm going to need a regular flat blade screwdriver. And of course, only open the drive if you're going to throw it away anyway. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to, whoops, <coughs> that's a strong magnet. Because I'm going to take this off and take the head off and then I'm going to screw up this platter so the drive is really no good. Make sure you really do not want the drive anymore. So I'll uns unscrew this. Okay, so this thing is loose. <coughs> Magnetic. Okay, I could cut this off with scissors or something, but you don't need it. And then, this part over here is the bo bottom magnet which is actually secured by a couple screws. So I'm going to need my T9 Torx again. I'll try to un unscrew this thing. Oh, okay, two screws and then this bottom magnet should just lift out. Okay, now these you can use them like this just as is but they're stuck to this metal back plate. See, this thing is actually the magnet and this rest of it is just a metal plate. So I'm going to get this off the plate now. Alright, so here's the plate and I have a vice grip here. There's several other techniques. One guy just gets a iron bolt or something and just hits it with a hammer. Because this piece over here is just glued on to this um, metal backing plate. But I prefer to just get a oh, uh, vice grip like this you see I'm sort of wedged like this and just give it a gentle squeeze like that and then it's loosened so. <coughs> so this magnet is already it's loose but it is so strong that it looks it feels like it's still attached but it's not really See? So it's off. There's the glue that was holding it. And here we have a um, extremely strong magnet. Okay. You can yeah. So for example, this is a calendar. It's pretty thick, but you can get one of these disk drive magnets. It's 
it's no problem holding a thick calendar, heavy calendar like that to your refrigerator. You could actually hold a quarter inch board pretty well with a disk drive magnet. Okay, thanks.